I'm Bruce Hamilton from News for Jax. Vice President Kamala Harris will be in Jacksonville today to tout the administration's coronavirus package. It'll be her first visit since crisscrossing Florida last fall during the presidential campaign. It's part of the administration's Help Us Here tour to highlight what it says are the benefits of the American Rescue Plan. President Biden signed it into law March 11th. Also on the agenda, food deserts here in Jacksonville. Starting today, the age to get a COVID vaccine in Florida is lowered. You're eligible now if you're at least 50. Governor DeSantis opened the door because demand has been relatively modest. And he believes the state will make the vaccine available to everyone before May 1st. Pointing to more than 1,000 arrests in one of the nation's top party spots, Miami Beach officials warned the unruly spring break crowd gathering by the thousands, fighting in the streets, destroying restaurant property, and refusing to wear masks has become a serious threat to public safety. During a last-minute meeting, city officials voted to extend a highly unusual 8 o'clock curfew for another week along Fane South Beach, with the possibility of extending it well into April if necessary. And a Florida House committee takes up its own effort to rewrite vote-by-mail rules today as Republicans push to enhance ballot security despite no evidence of widespread problems. While Democrats and voters' rights advocates say the election-related proposals before lawmakers would be costly and will make it more difficult for some Floridians to vote. The news continues on Channel 4 and NewsForJax.com. I'm Bruce Hamilton. Have a great day and a great week ahead.